In this video, we're going to pick up right where we left off with char variables. Uh, more specifically, we're going to start looking at uh, the, those numeric qualities of char variables. So, uh, as you remember, we mentioned uh, in the previous video that chars are stored as a, a one byte, that is an eight bit uh, non negative integer. Um, for more information on all of that, there is a cross topic link here close to this video, uh, it might be closer to the previous one, uh, that, that reviews uh, uh, a part of a previous topic, a section in a previous topic where we went through uh, everything about characters and binary. All right, so let's uh, get back to that. And there is one small thing that uh, I need to mention that I should have mentioned in the previous video, but this is pretty simple. Um, let's look at when we were doing escape characters. We said um, let's see that we've got single quotes, and we're actually going to be typing more than one character. Like above, we type backslash n or something. Okay, well, what happens? if you say, all right, well, I want my character to be uh, the backslash. As you might guess, see, uh, well, we haven't gotten our semicolon yet, but let's put that in there. As you can see, it still just really doesn't like this. It says missing closing quote. So basically what's happening is it sees that backslash and says, okay, we're going to have an escape character. You want to use the escape character backslash closing quote. Okay, see, so essentially what it's doing is it's looking for another character after that backslash. So you might be saying, all right, well, um, how, you know, how, how do I do that? Well, it was pretty simple. It's just an es escape, oops, escape character. You'll see that that clears right up. So because of the fact that escape characters are denoted by our, you know, with a backslash, that means you can't just simply type in a backslash somewhere. You have to type in two because that's this is the escape character for the backslash. Okay, so we've covered that. Now, uh, the numeric qualities of uh, of chars. So this can get a little bit interesting. Uh, before we did things where we were going back and forth between. Um, we're going back back and forth between integers and doubles and we looked at you know the truncation and all this other kind of stuff well since a char is stored basically as an integer you know as an integer between 0 and 255 that's a you know, positive or well non-negative 8-bit integer um, you can still kind of do some of that too um, and in the course it talks about different ways where that can be pretty helpful but we're going to demonstrate them here in this video. So let's. So we've got my int. So my int. Okay. Um, equals my char. Now that seems kind of weird. Oh, we've got it equal to backslash. I'm not sure which number that is. Well, that could be kind of fun to find out. All right. So down here, that means that my int is going to produce what? Let's go ahead and see. This will be kind of fun. All right, there's our backslash. And look, it output 92. Huh. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, all right, let's go back to... Again, this is uh, the link that we provided for ASCII tables. It's just the Wikipedia page. Find, uh, you know, use a search engine, find ASCII tables that are the easiest for you to read and that give you the information that, uh, that you want. Let's go down to this table down here where it tells you what all of these little codes are. And what was that number again? It was 92, so let's find um, 92, and there it is, it's backslash. 
right there 92 is the backslash so that's pretty cool and that can become pretty useful and I will tell you why um, and that's going between uppercase and lowercase notice something here an uppercase a is 65 all right and so uh, let's see lowercase is 97 so that's the separation of what 32 well if you notice it's always a separation of 32 so from going to uppercase to lowercase is as simple as uh, adding or subtracting 32 and going back and forth so that's just one example of where you can use this uh, this this integer code uh, or this the integer value for the for the ASCII code um, but that's not the only way all right as you may uh, have guessed let's see let's comment out this line here then you can go the other way that is to say um, my char equals my int okay that's gonna work now let's see what what is my int equal? It's equal to 5. Okay. So by the time we get to here, my int is going to be equal to 5. So we're going to assign that value. Remember, assignment is assi assigning the value on the right to uh, the variable on the left. So, um, oops, I left the other thing running. Oh dear. Sometimes it can get wacky when you start making changes while it's still running. We'll see how this works out yes hopefully there won't be any problems there we go alright press any key to continue huh I'm not sure maybe that wasn't 5 I tell you what let's just keep this simple because you don't just have to use variables you could just use plain old integers and say my char equals 5 alright so let's try again Uh, it's still producing the same thing. What is 5 in here? 3, 4, 5. Oh, E N Q. Okay, inquire. All right, gotcha. Let's try something different then. So that that, that is working. Um, let's finish this out so we don't run into that problem again. Let's do this. Let's make it equal to 7. Okay. So save all. And we will um, run this again. Yes. There we go. So we heard our bell there that time. So our bell is working just fine. All right. Um, again, 7 here is bell over here. I was thinking the bell was five. That's how come it wasn't doing like I thought. So yes, uh, the bell is seven. So you can use this uh, in place of uh, in place of these escape characters by assigning a number to a char. All right, and um, and sometimes there's some things where you're like, well, I mean, it doesn't even have to be an escape character, like. When we were just looking at the uppercase and lowercase, what did I say? A capital A was 65, right? Well, let me finish this one out. Let's uh, let's try instead of 7 here, um, or let me just write a new one. My char equals um, 65, semicolon. All right, and let's try that. And so you can do that. There it is, capital A, where it outputs the char. That's straightforward. So you can also use this to assign things. But let's look back here at this 7. You might be going, well, OK, what, what if I want to put my character as a 7? 
Well, you've got a couple of choices, actually, but just to demonstrate here uh, the big thing, and that is, remember, when it comes to chars, single quotes equal single characters. In order to have a character of seven, not the number, okay, then, uh, let's see, where we got up here? then we need to put the 7 in quotes. Uh-oh, forgot my semicolon. Told you. Sometimes I will occasionally forget my semicolon. <laughs> so, started getting a little ahead of myself there. All right. So now it outputs uh, 7, okay, instead of the bell. And why is that? It's because we put that 7 in quotes. So there is a big difference doing this without the quotes will assign it that ASCII integer value of 7 which is the bell which is that which is that little sound okay and when you put it in quotes inside uh, single quotes that's going to be the like the character 7 and if we look back up here uh, we'll, we'll find hopefully it's in this chart I do not see it right. Oh, here it is. All right. It's, that is 55. The character 7 has the ASCII code of 5, while the ASCII code of 7 gives you that bell. All right. Don't believe me? We'll do one last little trick here. We'll say, we'll go back to this my int. Uh, equals my char. And what is that going to output for my int on down here? If we look at it uh, in our code, it should be 55. Let's run it and see what we got. And sure enough, it's 55. Okay, so that's how the uh, uh, how the numeric qualities of of chars work. You can go, you can go back and forth between ints and uh, and characters just like that alright uh, just keep in mind that characters are only a single byte so they only hold numbers between 0 and 255 but yeah we're good there and again you can look up tables this is the one that's linked to in the course this uh, Wikipedia page but you know go out use a search engine and find tables that give you that are easiest for you to read and give you the information that you want whether it's you know escape characters or you know th this uh, this big table down here all right excellent okay so that pretty much covers characters in the next video we're going to be looking at constants okay and there's two types of constants there's a, a literal constant and a name constant and name constants look a lot like uh, uh, a lot like variables, but they're uh, not exactly. So go on and read in the in the next section all about constants, and we'll see you in the next video where we show you how to use them. This concludes another video for Introduction to Programming with C++, brought to you by Logicomp. You can access the full course by going to the course homepage at logicomp.com slash intro CPP. While we are proud to offer this course free of cost to individuals, we do ask that if you continue to use the course that you support its production and maintenance by making at least a small purchase from Logicomp Domains and Hosting. You can pick up a custom domain, renewable annually, for around 10 bucks at Logicomp.com slash hosting. Thank you.